Welcome to TextApps.com. Today I'm going to show you uh, the basic Linux administrators uh, functions, uh, which are most important when we are doing uh, system administration. So I'm going to uh, cover three basic tools or three basic commands, and um, uh, the three commands that I'm going to demonstrate uh, is like uh, uh, taking uh, backups, doing day-to-day -day copy functions, and then uh, I will start uh, with another uh, two tools. So I have here. Uh, two server sessions uh, that I have taken up. Uh, they are the SSH session. SSH stands for uh, Secure Shell. So uh, basically SSH is a set of network protocols that we use to uh, connect to the uh, Linux servers. So it provides us actually a secure terminal session through which we can uh, do a lot of uh, functions like file transfers, remote connection, executing commands, and many functions using SSH. So the first tool I'm going to demonstrate is uh, the CP tool, that is the copy command. Uh, like, uh, let's say we as a system administrator used to do a uh, lot of functions, let's say uh, changing system files. So then the true system administrator, the Linux administrator, the first thumb rule is that always keep a copy of uh, your file or your directory before making any changes. So for example here, uh, let's say we are going to uh, make changes under one of the file that is test1.txt. The first thing is we should take always a backup. How we are going to achieve it? We have a cp command that is a copy command. And uh, like with every command on Linux, we have a lot of options that we can use. And if you want to see those options, simply use uh, command and then you can use help so if you type help you will see here it's giving you all the available options with this command if help is uh, like uh, one of the option there is another option that is man that is the man pages and then the name of the command my system is more uh, secure or I would say like I have uh, used minimal installation of uh, my operating system distribution so man option is not available here but in that case we have CP and then help man so now I will show you how to take a copy. So it's cp, then name of your file, and then we use certain pattern to take backup. That is .bkp. Then I ideally I used to do is uh, dd, then mm, and then yyyy. So here we go. And you can see here now we have a backup copy of this file that you can see here. So this is how we can keep a copy of existing file. Same way, let's say we have a mail server directory here and we want to take a backup of a directory. You can see uh, like directories are blue color and files are uh, white file, uh, white color. So that is the default uh, system color pattern or color coding pattern on the Linux machine. And now we will take a backup of mail server and we will use the same pattern that is dot bkp and then followed by the date you see here it's complaining about omitting directory why it's happening and even if you do ls you will not see anything here because for copying a directory we need to do a parameter that is hyphen r that is recursive why we need need to use recursive because this directory has certain files within directory maybe it has certain directories within it uh, within the directory itself so for that what we need to do we need to make sure that we do a recursive option now we will be able to take backup of this back uh, this particular directory along with directories within the directory and different files within now do and press enter and now you can see here we are able to make a copy of the existing file uh, directory sorry so this is how we are going to keep uh, backups for maybe uh, your files your directory systems now, what if we want to take uh, a backup over the network? What does it mean? Like, let's say we have one server, uh, maybe here, one server is a remote server, maybe in uh, New York, USA, or in London, UK. So how are you going to take uh, backups over the remote servers on the network? So for that, we use another tool, another important command within the Linux system, that is SCP command, the secure copy command. And if we enter simply this, then you can see the various options that we can use along with this. Or maybe you can use scp-help command, the way I told you, or maybe man pages. But in my case, you will not find man pages here. 
and uh, uh, for doing remote copy of the servers either you need to have uh, the name of your server or you can have it uh, achieved by using the IP, server, IP address so in my demonstration I'm going to show you with the IP address and uh, I will just check quickly what is the IP address of my machine same way I will go to the other server and I will just quickly check the IP address of this machine so we see my this server IP address is 55.8 and the other has IP address 55.4 so now let's see like uh, if uh, we have this mail server directory here and I would like to take a backup of this over here I will quickly remove uh, mail server that is already existing here just to make sure that we are able to uh, we are able to take a copy I deleted it you see it's not here anymore and now I will do SCP then I will use hyphen R now we need to give address of the machine that is and we will use with the username so that is 192.168.55.4 followed by the path where this particular uh, directory is available so this is available here you can see under this path so we go here this path and then this is further inside that is the name of the directory so we are going to take a copy of mail server and then where we are going to keep it I'm going to keep it in my current directory that is where I'm sitting in on 55.8 and then we will use the same pattern here so that is the mail let's say server maybe we can use like from 55.8 and then dot vkp dot today's date so this is uh, the pattern that you can follow as per your convenience or maybe as per the backup policies which are defined on your server itself so <clears throat> this is refusing because we are using a wrong ip here it's not four it's eight now we need to provide credentials and you can see here so all the files are copied here and you see we provide it with certain name and we have the directory here and you can verify we have copied one two three four five six files here and if you do ls here for mail server we have six files here as well so that's all now I'm going to show you one more trick here like I used a default secure copy port that is 422 what if your servers are more secure like if you have customized port so I'm going to show you how to achieve that in my case here uh, I'm going to show you this server now we will copy we copied here from 55.8 now we will do what we will do we will take a copy of this particular directory from 55.4 to 55.8 but 55.4 server is secure server so it's not uh, uh, allowing connection or default SSH port rather it uh, accept uh, secure port so how we are going to achieve that uh, using uh, secure port that is what I'm going to show you and for that the command will be again SCP but this time what we do we will be using hyphen P parameter that is the port number and now 2589 is the port or maybe we can simply just uh, take a look here what is uh, the port number maybe this way just to make sure so see here this is showing this is already established and this is 2598 so we correct the port and then now we will just do a copy so copy what maybe either we can do from here or we can do from here also so like here if we are going to take a copy from this server so then we do same way pwd give the complete explicit path here that is with the username followed by the IP address or machine name and then don't forget to use colon here because colon is important and then finally the name name of the file or directory that you want to take a backup of so in case we have this big name and then where we want to place it probably we want to place it here so that is 
here and also this is a directory so make sure you also include uh, hyphen r and then this boom so see here we are able to take uh, a remote directory to the another server but in case uh, uh, this demonstration what we were doing here is like we are using a customized port in customized port you need to use hyphen p parameter so this was another demonstration of a tool that is very helpful while we are doing administrative task same way we have another important tool and the tool name is rsync so this is again a similar tool the way we have scp but uh, the beauty of this tool is like it not only help us to take a copy of uh, uh, files and directories but also help help us to schedule jobs uh, if we want to because this is uh, helping us to do incremental differential or complete backups and uh, how it works is it's again rsync if you do simple rsync you will see a lot of options available here and i'm going to show you uh, rsync using uh, using the uh, AVZ parameters that is uh, I'm going to show you here our sync hyphen A V and uh, Z where A is the archive option like we are enabling archive mode V is the verbose mode that means we are able to see what is happening when we are executing the command and Z is for compression we are enabling uh, network level compression so that uh, time and bandwidth of the network is also saved so let's try to uh, do something now here and uh, I'm going to show you. Uh, let's try to sync uh, this particular directory again, uh, or maybe uh, yeah, this this is the one we can try to show. So r sync hyphen a v z, and then we are going to sync this directory to the remote server. Remote server is uh, this. Just typing in the address of the server and then we need to provide the explicit path where we actually need to sync it so let's say we are syncing it under this directory make sure you are always uh, typing in the right location and then within this directory we are going to sync this way now provide and that's all so sending incremental file is see here so what is the meaning of incremental here uh, like the very beneficial part of this command is that it will only sync the changes if it's, if it see already existing file so like you know we already did uh, copy using scp this time it will just take a look on all these files if they are changed that's okay if they are not changed then it will not copy anything over now i will show you one more for example i am going to create one file here touch and uh, I'm going to make within uh, uh, this particular mail and I will make here uh, our sync testing 555 so we just created one file here one test file here okay and uh, if we do ls you see here this is here our sync testing and if I show you on the other server uh, it's not there right see here so it's not there yet right so let's do it now we will do a sync again so sync provide the credentials and now you can see here uh, it's showing actually it's showing that what it's going to transfer because there is nothing else to transfer so it's just giving the incremental file list now if you do list here again see here you can see it here so this is a beneficial tool that is only doing incremental update to the directories or the backups or the files so uh, that is all for uh, today's session i think um, uh, i have covered the three important tools cp scp and rsync stay tuned uh, for more uh, system administration uh, station related uh, task and i'm going to take you through about other important uh, aspects uh, along with the technical things that we can do on system administration stay tuned and uh, also do not forget to register on uh, www. Uh, 
techstepples.com